Emperor Shomu, your great-grandfather, the Emperor Tenji, ended the power of the Soga clan by aligning with a minor courtier. In recognition of his aid, your ancestor bestowed the clan name Fujiwara to the courtier. Now, like the Soga they helped defeat, the Fujiwara have grown powerful and seek to dominate the imperial throne. One of their clan leaders leads a rebellion in Kyushu. Defeat him and restore the people's faith in your divine rule. Alrighty folks, hello and welcome to the final mission of the Yamato Empire of the Rising Sun campaign. We are on Scenario 8, Fujiwara Revolts. So this is a pretty straightforward macro mission, we just need to destroy the Fujiwara Revolt. Um, no gimmicks really on this one, it's just a straightforward macro game. Let's begin. Genuinely one of the better missions in this game, I would say, in this campaign as well, specifically. I'm going to grab one of these guys to build some walls. I need to focus on food and wood to start things off. So we're basically building walls here to stop the enemy from getting in. Um, leaving it open just invites the enemy to attack us consistent all the time um, and whilst that's not going to slow down if we build the walls what it is going to do is stop the enemy from being able just to uh, run rampant and kill all our vills so this is definitely the highly recommended strat just to build those walls nice and early finish off the defense we can always destroy the walls when we're ready to push out which will be much later on we're actually going to be focusing more heavily on um uh, Navy to start things off. Uh, Navy and fishing boats with farms. So we're going to want to grab a couple of composite bows. Mostly to deal with the army the enemy sends. Specifically this one. But having our walls open would just mean these things just run rampant into our lands and that's not fun. Even though we've got an army that can deal with it, it's far easier to deal with them behind our walls. Now we definitely want to grab this upgrade as soon as we're able, but we are very short on food, so food is going to be the thing we need to focus on the most. To be fair, with a couple of extra composite bows that we've built, it's unlikely the enemy's going to break through. Even if we do the cab, we'll deal with them anyway. Luckily, we don't have to worry about um, our uh, housing or population limits because the all the houses are built that we need. So that's one less thing to worry about. So we're definitely going to want these two upgrades and this one, uh, yeah we probably will get all three upgrades to be fair, but the, the two archer upgrades are the ones that are most important. This one's the one that as soon as it's available I'm going to be utilizing. Right now we need to sort out our um, economy, we need a couple of fishing boats. Um, four ships at this stage of the game is more than enough to deal with what the enemy throws at us. Uh, the enemies don't rebuild buildings in this mission either, so that's a nice little win for us. Once we take down their docks, they'll stop attacking us. I see. Although, to be fair, they don't tend to attack much past the initial sort of assault anyway. Certainly not with the walls built anyway. At this point I'm transitioning back into um, wood production. We've got more than enough um, defense by land. We are going to be utilizing heavy um, horse archers and cataphracts. We're already in age 4 which is great. Grab this upgrade first. 
three fishing boats should be enough. Then we're going to upgrade to 3Ms. And then once we get about six or seven 3Ms, we can start our assault. We're also going to get a couple of catapult 3Ms too. We do want to upgrade the transports because we are going to want a um, to send these guys over to this island once this gold has run out, which it will pretty quickly. We're going to grab a couple more vills actually for gold. We're going to be systematically getting all the upgrades as we can. Farm production is perfect. Got three boats, or three fishing boats, which is more than enough for our requirements. They're probably the first things to go once I hit pop limit. So we're not on about seven tree M's in total. Probably two catapult tree ms as well, then we can start systematically taking down the enemy docks. army, land army just yet. Food is good, gold is good. Pretty good position at this point. Rather than truly in control of this map. Six tree ms is more than enough. Just need about two catapult tree ms and then we can rock and roll. Oh, we're gonna transition. We'll get ready for my transition into land. Get it all prepped and ready to rock and roll. Actually, me in stone. Food is actually really good right now. We can get rid of the fishing boats. Have served their purpose and then some. can go. Get the priest. Not maximizing efficiency, we don't need the juggernauts. Waste of money on this mission. Do you want one heavy transport as well? Get a third cat poultry um some more on wood as well. To be fair, food is actually in a pretty good spot, probably better than it needs to be. Um. 
There's two cap up trims. Let's uh, let's begin. Upgrade, you're done. You can go to uh, wood production. He only has three docks in total. One here, one down here, and one up there. Take them all out along with the houses. Tree, uh, cat fox tree, and that. Let's load up the boys. Let's take down this tower over here. all the food and gold we need to finish this mission. Boys on the boat as well. Remove the upgrades. Transition to a ground army. I don't actually need to go down here, but I want to take down a couple of uh, few few buildings that you want to take care of. Messes with the enemy as well, which is always good fun. I'm making full use of good supply really. Right, so cataphract and horse archers. Okay, so now we need to transition back to food since they got no money. You guys can build a granary here. Make a start on taking down some enemy infrastructure. I'm not worried about the enemy attacking me. Not much, plenty big enough army at this point. Take out the marketplace, and then we're going to transition to take out the last dock. as well. Oh. 
Dun <laughs> Uh, see changes at this point as well. This one we need to see what else we can get rid of so we can get a bigger army. It's the last dock. Build up a nice big army. Where's this bad boy out? So, actually, we don't need to destroy all of their stuff. All we need to do is force them to resign. That'll have a lot easier. That's what we're going to be doing for this mission. There's absolutely nothing the enemy can do against this army. Like, we're completely upgraded. Way stronger than the enemy at this point. Yeah, 
Yeah, having cataphracts run rampant in your army, in your base, not fun. I can assure you. That should be pretty much all she wrote. GG's. Yeah, that is a pretty straightforward campaign, that one, to be fair. A lot easier than um, the Babylonian one, in my opinion, but there we go. You have restored peace to Japan, but wars and the intrigues of court weigh heavily on your spirit. You hope that with your victory and the weakening of the most powerful clan, you will be able to one day abdicate the throne in favor of your daughter. You will retire to a Buddhist temple to become a monk and walk the Eightfold Path. After all, with your victory, most assuredly, no clan will ever again dare to challenge the Yamato Emperor. Alrighty folks, with that I'll about do it for this campaign. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and the series. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. If this is the kind of content you enjoy, then please do consider subscribing to the channel. It does help support the channel, would be greatly appreciated. There are still six more campaigns left to do on this game. Um, so yeah, obviously let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And as always, I shall see you in the next video.